um, just a bit of help and information really from all you Mac um, experts out there. So I've obviously got an iMac and I've got a, a, an M2 15 inch MacBook Pro, uh, that's not the issue, they're my phone. I actually purchased uh, this particular machine, it's a 2013, let me just show you, oh, sorry 2014 this one is, sorry. Uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch mid 2014, you can see the specs there for yourself, 2.6 dual core Intel i5, uh, Intel Iris, 8 gig of RAM, and I've actually patched it and it's running on 14.3 Simona. So that's all good, everything's fine with the machine. I've actually tried different operating systems on here. I started with a native one, I've done High Sierra, I've done Big Sur, it's had Catalina on it since I've owned it. Uh, the machine runs absolutely flawless on all these machines, on all these operating systems, even the Simona does. Um, as you can see, all the transparencies there, there's no lag, it's absolutely fine. I'm actually using it to be cool on now. Um, but there's just one little issue, it's the trackpad. Um, it works, it clicks, sometimes it'll move around as you expect it to. Other times it just freezes solid. And I've actually got a low battery boost and all that. I've actually got, um, it freezes solid and it doesn't do anything. Now I have used this across, like I say, different operating systems thinking it was an incompatibility issue with being an older Mac. Uh, that does it on every single operating system I've installed, so I don't think it's software related, I think it's hardware related. If anybody's got any tips or tricks to, to solve this issue for me, that'd be really great. Um, the machine itself, by its previous owner, was um, oh, I bought it from. It was in immaculate condition. There's not one single scratch mark, delamination, anything on the screen. It'd be a shame to start pulling it apart. Um, purely for, for a simple machine, it's just something I can use to take away with me when I go away. Uh, a machine I can use just to you know, review some digital photos I've taken. Uh, it's more for the portability aspect. I know it's not the highest spec, and I know it's exactly not the expensive Mac in the world, but um, I'd, lo I'd like to see if anybody's got any information before I start pulling it apart and obviously trying to sort out replacing track pads and things. Uh, I do believe on these particular machines, if you do have to change the track pad, it's easy to change the top cover, which includes a keyboard and stuff. Which again is a shame because the case, the aluminium case and the keyboard, the track pad, all look brand spanking new. Um, and I don't really want to obviously go down that line if I can help it. I've actually got a magic mouse connected at the minute, that's where I'm getting the movements from and as you can see that's absolutely fine. Uh, it's just obviously the track pad will freeze after a few minutes of use and then it'll come back on and then it'll freeze and yeah, um, and like I say I've used it across its native operating system and I've patched a couple of other systems to it to see if that was any of the issues and it's not, it still does it on whatever you put on it. Um, so yeah, anybody got the information with that, let me know, I would appreciate your comments in the in the uh, below to see if anybody can help me and uh, yeah and thank you very much and i do appreciate any help you could put my way guys thank you